Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm here with a review of the Rotring 800 mechanical pencil. It's kind of the upgrade of the Rotring 600. After I got the 600, I was so impressed by it that I decided that it was finally time to take the plunge on the 800. Part of the reason why I was so hesitant to get this one is that uh, there are some concerns that have been expressed by people online about the 800, and I'm going to address some of those concerns, well, all of those concerns in this review. And I'm also going to do some comparisons of other retractable mechanical pencils like the 800, and I'll give you my impressions of it. And of course, we'll run down uh, where it stands on my rating scale and, and what I think about it and what the likelihood is that I would see myself using it on a regular basis. So let's dive right in. Well, the first thing that you notice when you look at the 800 is where's the lead sleeve? Where does it go? Well, the Roaring Ring 100 has this 800 has this great mechanism where the top of the body of the pencil right here that would normally be smooth or in the case of the 600 would have a lead hardness indicator, but on the 800 that's missing. And there is a knurled grip here that you would not expect. You would expect that just to be at the end of the pencil, but you twist that knurled grip and when you twist it, the lead sleeve appears. It's spring-loaded, and so when you twist it the other way, it retracts really easily. Twist it and it comes out. Twist back and it retracts really easily. And so the Rotring 800 is a retractable sleeve mechanical pencil. Now, if we compare it to the 600 overall, it's nearly if not the same length as the 600 when the lead sleeve is fully extended. And so in many ways, the 800 is a clone of the 600 with the key difference being, of course, the mechanics for the retractable system. And so continuing on with the review, I mean, basically the 800 is very, very similar to the 600, not only in terms of its body construct construction made of all brass, but it has the same knurling on the grip near uh, where the guide pipe is. There are a couple aesthetic differences between the 800 and the 600. You'll notice that near the lead sleeve down here, it is a shiny gold. And then we also have a solid gold ring up here near the top, but in the middle of that gold ring, we have the classic rote ring red ring, uh, signifying that this is a rote ring mechanical pencil. Same style drafting eraser. I think this one is actually a little bit smaller than the 600, but this one does indeed come with a lead jam clearer. You know, and while we're here, why don't we go ahead and talk about that? Oh, and just one, one quick thing before we do that, I guess, is that you cannot depress the lead advancement mechanism while the lead sleeve is not extended, which is a nice safety feature on the Rotoring 800. Same pocket clip, springy and sturdy. Okay, isn't going anywhere. It's going to hold to whatever papers you clip it to. And so let's talk a little bit, though, about this uh, lead sleeve mechanism, because this is something that a lot of people have expressed concerns for online. And I'll be honest with you, it was a concern for me as well as soon as I laid hands on the pencil. And let me talk, tell you, show you what I'm showing you what I'm talking about. So with the lead sleeve extended, when I depress the plunger on my Rote Ring 800, let's see if I can get it to focus here, you're going to notice right away that the lead sleeve mechanism moves when you depress the plunger. And you have to press pretty hard in order to get it to extend. Now, for aficionados, this is something that annoys people on retractable mechanical pencils. We want something super solid. Okay, so if we can compare it to the 600... Click, 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 solid mechanism. Okay, the 800 definitely feels spongier in that regard. And the retractable lead sleeve moves when you click it. I found that mine moves less after I've kind of broken the spring, I guess, or broken the system. And so if you get one and you see the lead sleeve moving a lot when you depress the plunger, I found that after 10 or 20 advancements, the mechanism kind of tightened up a little bit, but you can see that it does have a little bit of movement in it. Okay. And so for some people, that's something that you would not expect on a model of a mechanical pencil that costs this much. If you can compare it to other retractable mechanical pencils, other retractable mechanical pencils have the same issue. I'm not showing you these to, to say that the Rote Ring 800 is correct in what it does, because I don't think that it is. But if you look at my uni shift pipe lock, when I depress the plunger, it moves. 
Okay, if we compare that to the Stettler Mars Micro, extend that out, and if I press really hard, this one does not move, and you'll notice that there's that little rubber O-ring in there that is securing it. And so that could be a signal as to how we might be able to solve these sorts of issues. There are websites online that describe how to set a little O-ring in your Rote Ring 800 to sort of fix that aspect of the mechanism. So Stettler Mars Micro, pretty solid. If we compare it to the Graftgear 1000, sort of Pentel's top-of-the-line drafting pencil, which I've said before and I still hold that... I have grip problems with the Graph Gear 1000. Okay, so I extend the lead sleeve on the Graph Gear 1000. If I press the plunger lightly, it's got a nice click, Pentel mechanism, and lead comes out. I mash it down hard, and you can see that the mechanism will move. Okay, so this is like this common problem that exists with retractable mechanical pencils. One more Rotring to compare it to is the Rotring Rapid Pro. I really like the grip of the the Rapid Pro. Its knurling is a little bit softer than the 600. This is a newer model. I actually, I think it was released in 2010. The 800 was released way the heck back in 1993. And the 600 was released in 1989. And so that's a short little history of all these rote ring models. If we look at the Rapid Pro, though, which like the 800, has a retractable sleeve. This is just the guide pipe that retracts. So you can see that it comes out. This is a sliding sleeve. So in addition to it retracting, it will also retract back into the pencil as you write, exposing more lead so that you don't have to do a lot of clicking. Okay, when I click the Rapid Pro, lead comes out. There's no change in the lead sleeve whatsoever. Of course, I've already spoken about how the big downside of the Rapid Pro is that it is heavy. It is nearly double the weight of both the 800 and the 600. So I wanted to make sure to address these concerns in this review because for some people, that sort of motion is not what they're looking for in a retractable pencil. Is it a deal breaker? Well, folks, I my gut reaction for this is that I'm going to return this. No, it's not behaving like it's supposed to for a 50 plus dollar pencil. You know, it's expensive. And so I think that my expectations when I got it were through the roof. And I mean, you know how it is for a popular movie, popular movie, you get hyped, you get hyped, you get hyped, and then it's not perfect and it becomes a letdown for you. Well, you know, I'm old enough to sort of resist those emotions and have a little bit more patience and think things through, you know, in my teens and in my 20s, that was my gut reaction whenever something like that happened with a movie that I was really anticipating. Uh, but I spent some time thinking about the Rote Ring 800, and I broke in the spring on it a little bit, and I just did what you should do with any mechanical pencil, which is to write with it. And I wrote with it, and I wrote with it. Oh, by the way, I've had no problems with lead breakage that people have said exists with the 800. I got the 0.7 millimeter variant for that reason. I figured that with a thicker lead, there would be less likely to have any lead breakage. I haven't experienced any lead breakage at all, and I've been writing with it for a little while now. And so I really don't think that that's as big of a concern as people say on the 0.7 millimeter model. I can't really speak for the 0.5 millimeter model in that regard, because a thinner lead may be more likely to break. So my Rotring 600 is in 0.5 millimeter, and my Rotring 800 is in 0.7 millimeter. So back to, you know, my feelings on this retractable sleeve motion that is a little spongy and isn't that satisfying click that a lot of mechanical pencil aficionados want. Well, you know, I spent some time writing with the Rote Ring 800 and folks, it's pretty much the exact same writing experience as the Rote Ring 600, which in my mind is the finest writing experience that I've ever had with a mechanical pencil. I mean, I was in love with the Rote Ring 600 before my 800 arrived. I got this. I see the retractable sleeve. I'm like, uh, wine, wine. Oh, it moves. You know, that was my reaction too. And so if you felt that way, I don't blame you. But then as I started writing with it, folks, the 800 is essentially the 600 weight grip, feel in the hand. 
I mean, there's a tiny amount of play, little amount of play between the lead sleeve and the barrel of the pencil, but not that much. I think that honestly, you could reduce that even by just putting a tiny piece of plastic tape around this. If I take it apart real quick to show you what I'm talking about, I think that that's something that I've saw, seen online that people have suggested. So this gold part extends way back here. And I think that if you just put a tiny little piece of packaging tape around here, that would shore up that connection between this guide pipe and the knurled grip well enough that there would be zero play between the extendable mechanism and the, the lead sleeve. Okay, so when I extend this, whoops, all right, there we go, extend it, and when I started writing with it, I said to myself, you know what, this is the exact same writing experience as the 600, and that's what makes the 600. So if my biggest problem is that I have the Rotring 600 writing experience in a pencil where I can retract the mechanism and take it on the go wherever I want and have a rote ring style 600 experience with me wherever I am, regardless of whether or not it's pocket safe. And my only gripe about the experience is that the lead sleeve doesn't extend the way, the exact way that I want it to. You know what? It's worth it for me, folks. Uh, we'll talk about price in a little bit, you know, whether or not it's going to be worth the price for you. And that's something that you're going to have to consider, but you know, after I got over my initial reaction, I've settled on the fact that the 800 is the 600 only portable. It's lead advancement mechanism and it's lead sleeve are not perfect. Okay. There is a little bit of play in the mechanism, but if I'm writing on the go and I'm like, click, click, get started writing, I barely even notice it. So for me, it's not a deal killer. Is it what a perfect mechanical pencil should be? No, it is not. And so for that simple fact alone, it's not going to go at the top spot on my top 10, but golly gee willikers, it's really close. And so um, I'll talk about the top 10 here in a second, but let's just go ahead and run down my rating scale for the Rotring 800 so that we can sort of settle ourselves on how I made my decision on this one. So writing experience, great. It's the same as I've uh, rated uh, the Rotring 600 because it's essentially the same experience. Uh, features, great. Okay. Um, if not for that little bit of play in the lead sleeve, I might rate it as superb. I mean, I, I don't think that I can get away with that anyway because it has a tiny little drafting eraser. It doesn't have a lead hardness indicator. Um, Rotring drafting pencils are not about features, but the features on this pencil, pencil definitely warrant it a great on my rating scale. And then quality, well, this is where I knock it down. It has that wonderful brass body. It has those beautiful accents. It's a beautiful pencil to look at. Uh, but we have this lead sleeve extension squishiness that some collectors are not going to like. And so, whereas I rate the Rotoring 600 and the Rotoring Rapid Pro's quality as superb, I'm going to knock the Rotoring 800 down to just a great. I know, oh my gosh, just a great. How terrible. You know, uh, price, well, it's kind of in the luxury category for this. Uh, it retails at 75 Online, I bought this one from JetPens for $52 for a couple reasons. One, uh, there is a risk with really high-quality rotoring mechanical pencils that you can get knockoffs or older versions of models that you don't want if you don't order from a reputable source. And so if you're going to get one of these, I would recommend that you order it from Rotring.com. They sell it direct or from JetPens, a very reputable retailer online. Uh, $52 on JetPens. You can get it actually, I think JetPens actually has the cheapest price. You can get it on Amazon, but on Amazon, I'm not really sure that you want to risk getting an older model. Because as we know from these most recent rotoring models that Newell Rubbermaid has been making, is that they had that one iteration that didn't have the logo on the side. It just had like the lead size on the side. And that really rubbed people the wrong way because they wanted that classic rotoring branding on their pencil. And so if you want to be sure that you're getting the most updated model where that looks like this, as you see right here, 
I'd recommend ordering it directly from Rotring or order, ordering it from JetPens. So it's got this luxury look. It, it can fit in your pocket. It, ha- it has the exact same writing experience as the 600. Um, its only downfall is that when, you know, you're, you're advancing the lead, it has this sponginess. And so I, I'm not trying to make that define the review because this really is a fine pencil, but for some people, you know, that's going to, might be a deal bait breaker for you, especially at that price point. So where is it going to land on the rating scale? Well, I'm going to put it at number two. I think that Writing experience for me is what matters most for mechanical pencils, followed very closely by quality and then probably after that features. And if I compare the 800 and the Rapid Pro, which the Rapid Pro is currently at my number two, I'm going to have to put the 800 above it simply because the Rapid Pro is way on the weighty side. You know, it's nearly double the weight of the 800 and the 600, which the 800 and the 600 come in at about 1.1 ounces a piece, and the Rapid Pro comes in at 1.9 ounces, which, you know, I feel it in my hand, and I'm like, wow, this is like weighty, like the Graph Gear 1000 is weighty. And weightiness does not allow you to write for an extended period of time. I love my Rapid Pro. I, I use it. Uh, but I can't use it for an extended period of time because of its weight. That's what really bothers me about it. So I feel pretty confident putting the Rote Ring 800 at number two on my scale. And that means that everything else is going to get bumped down. That also means that I'm going to be taking a mechanical pencil off of my top 10 list. And I'm going to be bumping something off of the um, honorable mentions list. Uh, and I haven't quite decided what that's going to be yet. Actually, what it is, is I don't have my notes with me right now, so I can't remember what I decided to do on this, but I will post it in the video so that you can see with the decision that I made. Um, so if you're a collector, Rotring 800, check it out, especially if you want to use it as a functional piece and want to take a Rotring mechanical pencil on the go, definitely check it out. If you're just looking for one pencil, and pocket safety isn't that important for you, and you're going to keep it in a case, I would go with the Rote Ring 600. Simply because of the price, uh, I, I'm not sure that for many people it's going to be worth paying an extra 20 plus dollars for the retraction mechanism on the Rote Ring 800. Uh, that seems like kind of a, a, a steep additional price to pay. I mean, I don't I don't know what goes into the engineering of the mechanism for it. I mean, it is a cool mechanism, don't get me wrong, but is it 20 plus dollars extra cool mechanism? I don't know. You have to decide that. For me, I'm glad that I have both, but I wouldn't hesitate with with the Rotoring 600 being my top mechanical pencil right now to recommend that first to anyone. But if being on the go matters to you, I would recommend the Rotring 800 over the Rapid Pro in a heartbeat. Um, if you're looking for something in a smaller price range, there's lots of retractable pencils that I like that I've reviewed. Uh, the Stettler Mars Micro is one that's very reasonably priced, usually about $10 at retailers, that if you're looking for a retractable mechanical pencil, that could be a way to go. Uh, but yeah, so check out the Rotring 800. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, I was... Excited to find that its writing experience was identical to the 600. It does have that one little annoyance, but you know what, folks? I'm over it. It's a great pencil. And so I hope this is going to help you to make a decision. Uh, I definitely have enjoyed getting into this Rotring line after I was hesitant for a while. And I'm going to continue to post reviews here on my channel and on my blog, klexer.wordpress.com. Uh, something new in my blog is that I finally made a page that is going to have an alphabetical list of all of my mechanical pencil reviews in case you want a quick one-stop shop of a place to go to know what I've reviewed. And my blog links to all the videos that I have on my channel. So if you're looking for a one-shop stop, that would be a place to go because all of my mechanical pencil reviews will eventually be up there. It's going to take me a little bit of time. I think today I put up like links to like 25 or 30 of all of my reviews and I have more 
and I intend to do more because I still have mechanical pencils left to review. And so uh, stick around and check out what we have in the future. But um, there you go. There's my review of the Rotring 800, comparison to the 600, comparison to the Rotring Rapid Pro, and some other retractable mechanical pencils that I have in my collection. And so hopefully this... Uh, gives you a little bit of insight on some of the options out there if the functionality of a retractable tip is something that's important to you. But if you're looking for quality, you can't beat a rot ring. So keep that in mind. So uh, leave any questions or comments in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you know what we can do to, to help you out if you're looking into getting a mechanical pencil that's right for you. Thanks for watching.